Well, tax season is upon us uh. already. <laughs> Say it isn't so. And some people are getting back their returns for the year. With inflation hiking the price of food, gas, and other expenses, for many Americans, that tax return check can come soon enough. According to Bankrate.com, at least 32 percent of people will choose to save their tax return this year. 23 percent will use the money to pay off debt. 12 percent will pay for day-to-day -day expenses. But the Treasury Department is warning the IRS is already facing a sizable backlog of returns, meaning many people could go waiting longer than expected for their checks. So for more on this, let's bring in Ted Rossman. He's a senior industry analyst at Bankrate.com. Hi, Ted. Great to see you. So, you know, why is the IRS so backlogged with returns this year? It's not like tax return day came up and surprised everyone, <laughs> right? We know it's, it happens every year at this time. Yeah, that's right. There are a few things going on. A lot of it tracks back to the pandemic and the fact that the IRS was closed for a while. They've just been inundated with paper. Paper is always complicated and expensive to manage and just all the more so when they didn't have enough people in the office. So a lot of it tracks back to paper and the pandemic. Some of it, though, is broader than that. The IRS basically has the same size workforce now as it did 50 years ago, and there have been huge population gains. So they've just really been swamped with work. They've had a fair amount of attrition, retirements, having a hard time attracting new workers. And uh, yeah, it really is a big pain point. File electronically this year. That's a good tip. How is the recent rise of inflation going to impact how people are spending their tax returns? It's definitely cutting into the impact. And you know, we've seen the largest inflation gains in 40 years, and it really is cutting into what is the largest windfall of the year for many households. The average tax refund last year was about $2,800. So that's just not stretching as far. People are dealing with higher costs for food, gas, housing. It was one of the main worries that we found in our survey. And I think it's a legitimate worry. You know, people are also worried that their refund might be delayed, it might be smaller. That's also a legit concern because we loved getting those advanced child tax credit payments last year, but that may mean a smaller return as a result. Ted Rossman, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate your insight. Thanks for having me.